In this video, I'll show you how to create a temperature feels like sensor for your weather dashboard. I've been working on my weather dashboard for a little while, and something I've been missing is a temperature feels like attribute. There are a couple of hacks integrations, but different countries have different formulas. I live in Scandinavia, so I've been following yr.no's formula, and it is crazy. Start by navigating to the folder where your configuration.yaml file is located. Create a new file called template.yaml. If you already have template sensors in Home Assistant, you should write the following code together with those instead. Inside this file, start by writing dash sensor colon. Then give the sensor a name and a unit of measurement. Note, if you're using Fahrenheit, you will need to convert your temperature sensor to Celsius. And then back to Fahrenheit at the end. We will do all the calculations under state. Start by setting up a few variables. This will just make it easier to do the calculation. T is the temperature sensor. This is the one you might need to convert to Celsius. The K variable will be the wind speed. This one we will divide by 3.6 to convert it to meters per second. The V variable just makes life a bit easier. Divide K by 1000 and multiply it by 60 twice. Don't ask me why. Then for the crazy stuff, I'll put the formula from yr.no up on screen again so you can see that it matches our sensor in Home Assistant. You just have to match my code. No need to understand this unless you really want to. Then lastly, all we have to do is output A. And I round it to one decimal number. This is Celsius, so if you want to have it in Fahrenheit, you need to use this code. Now head into your configuration.yml file. We need to load this template file that we created. Simply write template, colon, exclamation mark, include, template.yaml. Save both files and head into the developer tools in Home Assistant. Hit check configuration and reload all YAML configuration. Search for your sensor and it should show up. Now you just need to find a good way of showing it on your dashboard. This is probably what my next video will be about. Let me know if you like this video. I know it's a bit different to my usual content. I've been really busy with work lately, so I just haven't been able to prepare as much as I usually do. I really appreciate all the support and feedback I have gotten. It makes all this work that I'm putting into the videos all worthwhile. Until next time.